wanted to get on and do a quick video to let you guys know what's going on with me health wise if you follow me on instagram y'all have seen that i posted i'm sorry if i'm all shaky that i posted a post talking about a health scare I've had and I kind of have a bunch of videos planned but I didn't want to put them out there because I don't want anybody to be like okay what's wrong with her face so I'm gonna kind of explain what's going on so let's see when did it start uh last Sunday so not the Sunday that just passed today's uh Tuesday yeah um, but the Sunday before, we were actually down in South Carolina. I don't think I vlogged. I vlogged, I think I filmed like a little bit and I might insert that somewhere, but, um, I didn't vlog much because I started to feel really, really like sick on Saturday. Um, this ear was hurting really bad and I was pretty sure I had an ear infection. So I didn't even go in the ocean or anything. I kind of just sat there. Um, but everything was okay. Um, then Monday, Junior had his first football practice. And that evening, we flew up to New Jersey for like our final like summer vacation type thing. We went up to see our family and stuff up north. And um, my ear was really bad that day. And on the airplane, it was like the most uncomfortable I've ever been in my life. So um, we get to New Jersey Monday night, Tuesday. I'm still feeling pretty sick. My ear is hurting. But at this point, I'm starting to feel like half of my face is going numb. And I'm like, well, I definitely have an ear infection. Um, and then I looked it up and I had heard that you can kind of feel like tingling in your face if you have like an inner ear infection, a middle ear infection. So I planned to go to like a CVS like, um, minute clinic type thing. Hold on, let me sit more comfortably. And I'm sorry, this is definitely on my cell phone and I just got out of the shower. Um, so I planned to go to the minute clinic on Wednesday. Um, I was just planning to go in the evening after my husband, because we were using my in-law's minivan. After he picked up my mother-in-law at work, I was planning to go, but it ended up being that they closed early. Um, they closed earlier than I thought. So I didn't go. Then on Thursday, we went to Rhode Island. It's kind of a long story, but the company that my in-laws work for, they both work for the same company, but what my father-in-law does they moved that part of the company to Rhode Island so during the week he does work in Rhode Island which is about a four-hour drive from where we live in New Jersey and then on the weekends he's home so we went to Rhode Island to not only see him but because he wanted to give us a tour of the new like area where he works and um, just to see Rhode Island it's another new state and if you guys know I wanted to visit five new states this year so that was another one so we drove to Rhode Island. Um, my ear was killing me at this point. I was just taking painkillers and, um, I have, you know, I had an ear infection. That was my entire thing. Uh, we went to Rhode Island. I toured his job. We went to eat and then we went to a CVS, which is really funny because the area where he lives in Rhode Island, there's like a bunch of CVS like offices and stuff and then and he said there's a lot of CVS's there but the CVS that we ended up going to of course didn't have a minute clinic it was like the one that didn't have a minute clinic so um I went sorry if you hear the background Melody is like rolling around on the carpet she's crazy um so I there's an urgent care like in the same parking lot of the CVS so we went to the urgent care because at this point I couldn't see anything out of my right eye um if I covered this eye and it's still kind of like that but if I cover this eye I can see like shapes and like shadows but I can't see details so I was really scared I thought maybe I had had a stroke or something like crazy um the pain was behind my ear all down my neck and my shoulder was hurting as well so it was kind of strange I went to urgent care it was like the fastest urgent care visit ever I think it took us like a half hour in and out um and the minute that the um physician's assistant came in to see me she already knew what I had uh, it's called Bell's palsy and it's an infection it's a viral infection and um, it basically 
attacks the nerves in your face. So um, the right side of my face is basically paralyzed. I am taking an antiviral. I've been taking a steroid as well. Today's my last day of the steroid, um, prednisone, and um, just painkillers when my ear hurts. I do have to put eye drops in my ears, artificial tears, because in my eyes. Eye drops in my eyes, not my ears. That's crazy. Um, artificial tears because my eye doesn't blink. Um, as fast as the other one so it kind of um, now it's kind of better but it dries out very easily um, and I have to wear an eye patch the sunlight especially messes with my eyes I can't see very well so yeah it's just been kind of crazy I'm getting a little better I've noticed this side of my face moves a little bit more I mean you can tell it's not moving completely and if you watch the YouTube mommy meetup for back to school um, the live meetup that they have over on their channel I'll link it below I was a guest and you could see that my face wasn't really moving and I was kind of trying to hide it because it was very embarrassing so um, I'll show you my smile today I can't this side of my face just isn't it's moving a little bit more now it's actually better so that's kind of what's been going on so for all of my videos that are coming up I've got a bunch of back to school stuff I have a back to school Costco grocery haul which should probably be the next video that goes up I think um, because I already filmed it obviously um, I didn't show my face at all because I was just feeling crappy and then um, I have a back to school like um, all the stuff we got the kids at the outlets basically um, in Charleston that's their back to school clothing haul and stuff um, I'll be filming that but I wanted to just kind of preface all these videos with this video just so that you guys could see my face and what's kind of been going on so it's like um, it doesn't scare you I guess I don't know it's kind of embarrassing I'm also um, August 15th so not this Saturday but the Saturday after I'll be in Chicago for the YouTube mommy meetup conference so um, I'll be filming a bunch there like I've said um, but my face will most likely be like this the physician's assistant that I saw at the urgent care did tell me that even after my medication is done um, it takes a while for the effects to wear off so I might be like this for a while I've looked it up online I've seen people that it goes away in six weeks two weeks and I've seen people that it takes six months so we don't know where I'm gonna land on that spectrum so I just wanted to kind of like preface all of that with this um, I could do like a separate video about Bell's palsy and everything and maybe like do an update in a month or two just to show what my progress is and how I'm feeling and everything and maybe talk a little bit more about it but I really just wanted to do like a quick little let you guys know what's going on and why I've kind of been MIA. I'm very embarrassed by the way my face looks and I know that's really shallow to say but I am. I'm not a very confident person um, naturally so for my face to be crooked and like for when I talk my whole mouth goes to one side um, for me not to be able to blink my eye correctly or even close it as fast as normal is very hard for me so it's been crazy um but I'm dealing with it and I'm doing okay and you know it really helps to have the support of my family my husband is very supportive he tells me I'm fine that I look beautiful no matter what and it kind of just helps to perk me up a little even though I'm still not feeling confident um I needed to get my eyebrows done was another reason why I hadn't done a video um, but I can't get them waxed because this eye is completely like drooped and I'm afraid of what it would look like. So I did do a little bit of plucking just to clean them up a little. This one I didn't clean up so much because it actually hurts really bad to pluck. But other than that, I'm doing okay. I do get ear aches still. I do get headaches, but it's not as bad as the first few days where I kind of just felt like I was dying <laughs> but um yeah so this is kind of my let you guys know what's going on and so that you guys can kind of understand why my face looks like this in the upcoming videos and I will have a bunch of back to school videos for you guys coming up now um, coming up soon uh, the kids go back to school the 10th and then we have YouTube mommy meetup 
the, that weekend. And then on the 20th, I have another fun collab with some great YouTubers. So it's going to be a busy month. And um, hopefully um, you guys enjoy. So I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I hope you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from with this video. I might, it might seem kind of shallow, but I'm just trying to it's more to prepare myself for the comments that might come. If I have this video out there, then at least I explained it before I get a bunch of questions. So I don't know. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.